Welcome back to France Stuffed in a Box. A weird introduction, I know, but that's because for 20 points in spring of series 34, you can go ahead and grab yourself the Citroen BX4TC. As to what the BX4TC bit stands for, I really don't know. So the weird French box has got itself 197 brake horsepower, 217 foot-pounds of torque and weighs 2,822 pounds with a 2.14 litre engine. And whilst it's a car from the 80s, and of course 80s cars did look very interesting for the time, I still can't quite figure out what was going on at Citroen's design department here, although the back of it does look pretty cool and reminds me a little bit of an old school Peugeot. Going to the inside, there's a few things over here, we've got ourselves some good old gauges and dials and stuff, and now let's go ahead and take a listen. And just like that, we're now at the upgrade shop. So let's go ahead and jump over to conversion and engine swaps and see what we've got. But sadly, it is only one, but it is quite an engine indeed. The racing three liter inline six turbo. This thing has got 805 brake horsepower stock and could come in very useful later on. And if you want, you can also go ahead and make this thing rear wheel drive. Now this thing was Citroen's rally car of the 1980s. So I'm hoping for something pretty good, but instead we've got ourselves a tiny little chin spoiler. And then going to the back, what do we have? We have got what looks like just a tiny little piece of plastic or the option to take the rear wing off entirely. But the cool little thing about this is even though it's back in the 80s, this thing came stock turbocharged and upgrading the stock turbo would give us 313 brake horsepower. And if we go over to the back really quickly, we'll see we can also go ahead and put some flames on it. However, our local tuner, Big Macintosh 762, has already beaten us to it because he's made us a good old A-class race tune. And so I'm going to go ahead and haul up the share code. In fact, there it is at the moment. Feel free to go ahead and download that for yourself. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So with those upgrades, we're now at £2,413, which is a lot lighter than before, with nearly 360 brake horsepower for 55,000 credits. You don't want to know how many tries that line took. So as those upgrades applied, we're now over in the paint shop. We've got ourselves nothing in advanced, which is kind of becoming the normal. And we've got two manufacturer colors to choose from. We've got a white and a black. And to be honest, I, it's not too bad, but I, I could think of a couple better colors to put this in. For example, how's about a blue? And just to make the rim stand out, we're going to go ahead and make those bright white. That doesn't look too bad if you ask me. You'd have thought they'd have optimized the save times by now, but no, we're still here. We're still waiting. So this thing turns out to be a car that's had quite the Group B rally heritage indeed, although there's quite a fair few of them. In fact, there was a whopping 2.315 million built during this thing's 12 year long production run, which is absolutely insane that there's 2.3 million of these things out on the road somewhere. And I've yet to see one in person. Okay, here we are now in the race. I was going to film the start, but uh, chaos happened and now we're here. But uh, even though this thing has had some really good Group B racing history, we're kind of committing car blasphemy at the moment by taking this thing on a little bit of a road race. But, oh well, I'm sure I'll enjoy it nonetheless. But what you won't enjoy is probably the price tag if you ever want to own one of these things. At the moment, a Group B version of this car has gone up for sale and sold, I believe, at auction for a whopping £352,000. Now, I'm not quite sure what that is in US dollar at the moment, so uh, again, I'll probably go ahead and put that up on screen like I normally do, but that's quite a lot of money for one of these. I mean, to be fair, it's not too bad of a car, so I guess it might be worth the price. But you go ahead and let me know that in the comments, alongside what you actually think to this car so far, because I've got to say, with this tune, this thing is handling really, really nicely. And the best it was, I got to race it down the mountain with last week's uh, cartoon by Mac, which was the BMW M635 CSI. I know a lot of you thought it was probably going to be the Lotus, but uh, I've not raced the Lotus against this thing yet. Although, to be fair, if Mac's watching this video, get on the mountain at some point. I've got another car to race you in. Well, he's saying that, now I really hope that race goes well. In the meantime, we're at 95%. We've got one more turn to go. The finish line is right there. And across we go with a very nice gap between us and literally everybody else. And of course, a first place for the time of 2 minutes 8, which is quite speedy. So after a really good race, we are now back at the upgrade shop. Now again, like usual, we'd usually go ahead and throw on some drag tyres. And I'm, again, I'm really sad there's no white walls for this thing because I think that would look really, really cool. But like normal, we have got ourselves a drag team which has been built by Mac. I've just got to go ahead and actually find it, which should be hopefully up here somewhere. And a thing I want to note is why do I keep having to, you know, manually get this page to refresh anymore? I genuinely don't understand. Forza, what have you broken this time? 
In the meantime, here is the share code for our next build, which is going to be drag racing. As you can see from the top left, it says Mac Drag, which is honestly a pretty cool looking tune as well. And I got to see this thing being made. So let's go ahead and install it. And I'll take a look at the stats in just a second. And here they are. We've got ourselves £2,417. So just a roughly around £5 difference to the race build. But when it comes to horsepower difference, we have gone up to 1270 which is absolutely insane. And now we're at the... Oh, wait, no, hold on, wrong festival. Ah, there we go, much better. Right, now we're at the back of the main festival. Let's go ahead and get a bit of a wheelie check out of this thing. Do we have anything? No, but I've got a feeling we could get something very interesting. And we'll come back to that in a minute. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and put ourselves just here at the edge of the drag strip. Someone else is having a little bit of fun over there. But we're going to go ahead and get ourselves onto some launch control. And away we go. The back of this thing has dipped quite a fair bit. So hopefully we might just get somewhere. I'm hoping something pretty quick. Let's see, we've got 190 so far. Through the camera at 206.60. And off the end of the runway at 231 miles an hour. And zero brakes. Oh dear. Honestly, I think that might be worse than the usual. But in the meantime, we have got ourselves this one. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of it because I know I'm going to get it wrong. But here is the share code. I'll go ahead and hold that up for you. There we go. Feel free to go ahead and give that one a try. And we're going to download it and install it because it does something very, very special. And in case you're wondering, it's not the top speed tune. Not yet, anyway. But this tune is a very interesting one because if we go ahead and just flip this thing into reverse. Yeah, I think you'll find it's very interesting because it does that. Yeah, this thing is a reverse wheelie build, which is honestly nuts. I've just got to try and get that launch right, because if I do, then go ahead and just get that into reverse at the right time, you can see it picks up the back end instead of the front, like every other car. Honestly, I'm amazed that uh, Max has been able to do something like this, so definitely go ahead and get this tune if you want to show off a bit. In the meantime, now it's our turn to show off a little bit, because we're going to go ahead and throw that motor back in, but we're keeping this thing all-wheel drive, because it is indeed time for a top speed run which also means I'm going to need the old faithful semi-slick tyres. And also we're going to go ahead and widen them up. Got two 45s at the front and going to the back, we have got two 45s again. Okay, that's not bad, I guess. And of course, you know it, we are going on race springs and dampers because, oh, wow, wait, 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 I've just seen how low this thing goes. Wait, can I go lower with it? Yes, <laughs> the answer is yes, I definitely can. Ladies, gents and others, we have turned the Citroen BX into a lowrider. Although the only issue with me doing that is now I've got to go ahead and tune the whole thing, so uh, I might be a few minutes. And so with the tune complete, we are now over at the Hot Season Forzathon shop where we've got ourselves the Ferrari F50. We have got the Relaxed Fit T over here, which I'm not going to try and say the name of because it confuses me. We have got the Get to the Chopper emote, which does look pretty cool in use, I will say that. We have got the Ferrari F40, if you want to have the uh, two iconic Ferraris side by side. We have got ourselves the Horizon Raptors hoodie, the Horizon Super Wheel Spin, and the regular Horizon Wheel Spin as well. And now, back to the motorway. So when I first travel over, I usually try and see how close I can get to that little starting grate before actually having to move. And today, we are miles away. Until now. In fact, I've just gone over it. Oops, I'll go ahead and move that back in just a tiny bit. Right, there we go, that's better. Now we're over at the motorway, go ahead and get ourselves on some good old-fashioned launch control, and away we go to try and see what top speed we get out of this thing. We've got nearly 1,300 brake horsepower. This thing is now a lot lighter, just over 2,400 and something pounds. We got 230 going off the edge of the drag strip, so I'm hoping we'll get a lot quicker down here. And here we go through the retro decorations. This thing is a little tail happy at the moment, which proves to be a good sign for our next challenge. We're going out the edge of the speed zone at 253.26, and we are still accelerating. So let's go ahead and see what we get downhill and through the camera. I'm going to place a guess of roughly, I think, 265. And there we go, through the camera, 263.5, so the 5 is in there somewhere. Going downhill, 268, do we get any more? 269 for a very, very split second. And now, on the brakes we go. Can we try and get this thing stopped before the uh, little turn off to the festival? The answer to that is a resounding yes. Which surprises me, considering how badly it did going off the end of the drag strip. And now we're giving the Citroen one last hurrah by sending it sideways and hoping it does well because of course we are back drifting. We are very, very sideways in second. That is actually kind of amazing. And out the other side at 41,040 odd points. This thing's a menace. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of like it. Well, I guess here we go going back the other way. Let's try and see if we can match that. I'm hoping we might be able to or we'll find a barrier. Well, I guess that one's going to take two. Well, this thing being a little too much for Menace on the first attempt. Here we go, going back the other way. I'm hoping we'll try and see if we can beat 41,000, but I heavily doubt it. 
Although we did get close with 40,028, which is not too bad. Well, I say that, that's about the most consistent score we've had in quite a while. And so, as the sun sets on another day in the world of Horizon Mexico, as does this video. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'd say definitely go ahead and pick one of these things up. It is a little menace to society, it's tiny, it's meant to be a Group B rally car, but it is so much more than that in this game, especially with that 2JZ edition, which is what that racing 3 litre is, in case some of you were still wondering. But I heavily recommend this thing, definitely go ahead and pick one up. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching, tech out. See ya! You know, I didn't think I was going to like this, but I do.